Okay. So that was, yeah, so that, that's kind of a weird one, sleep. So we pronounce it slept. We see slept this weekend. Slept. Yeah. I slept more. <laughs> yeah, but you got the PT, right? You got that part, right? So. No, we're good. It sounds like everybody had a pretty good weekend, and except Catherine. We hope Catherine gets to feeling better. But uh sounds like people just did some things around the house, did some chores, and really got started with, um, you know, just their, their daily tasks for the week. So let's, let me go ahead and share this lesson here. All right. And so we are going to continue talking about the past tense. And we're going to talk about some irregular verbs this time. Oh, and you know irregular verbs. They don't make any sense, do they? We call them irregular because they don't follow any patterns. And it's just good to become comfortable with these words. So you can see, you know, the past simple irregular they're not formed using any normal rules, and sometimes they do look very different. So remember, for go, that's the present simple. I usually go to the market. But for the past tense of go is went. I went yesterday, but I didn't go last weekend. Now, given the conversations that we just had about your weekends, I think some of you know these irregular verbs already but it's good to, to review them and just to keep practicing them. And one thing to remember about these is to make the negative, we're always gonna use, you know, we're, we use didn't here and some of those other, um, <coughs> goodness, <laughs> those other uh, helpers there with the verb. But we'll look at more examples of these too. So here is how to form this uh, structure right here. So we have the subject, I, the verb went, to the market. Now remember, went is the irregular past simple of go. So here, and then the negatives are I didn't go to the market. And we can use didn't, did not uh, to make this negative, but then we always use the base form of the verb in the negative. So you see, when you use went, this one, I went to the market. But if you use didn't or don't or, or did not we're going to use that go form i didn't go to the market <clears throat> you see i went to the market i didn't go to the market just remember with the negatives this verb right here does not change it'll be the base form so let's look at some examples of these um, i put these on your worksheet so you could um, have these to remember so let's read these out loud. Let's, let me get, um, Kasumi, can you read number one for me? She ate lunch with her friends. Mm -hmm. Okay, she ate lunch with her friends. Okay, good deal. Let me get uh, Lena. Can she you read number two? He drove to work this morning. Very good. Yeah, he drove to work this morning. That's good. Okay. Let me get Jay. Can you read number three for me? We didn't watch the movie last night. Okay. And so that's a good example here. So this is the base form right here. We didn't watch the movie last night. But Jay, if I were, if we were to do the positive of this, how would I say that um, the normal past tense verb with this? Oh, normal positive sentence? Yeah, so if we didn't if we didn't have the negative here, we just said we blank the movie last night. How would you make this past tense? Okay, uh, so it will be like uh, we watched we watched the movie last night. Yeah, we watched we watched. So that's how you would make it in the positive. But then in the in the negative, you you don't do the ed. We just say we didn't watch the movie last night. <clears throat> So that's a good example there. Let me see if, uh, let me get Stefania. Can you do number four for us? He swam in the pool for an, an hour. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she swam in the pool for an hour. Because remember the present for this is swim and yeah. then the past is swam. So it doesn't completely follow the rules. So here are some more examples here. So let's, 
let me see. We have three paragraphs here. So let me see if I can get three people to read these paragraphs. So let me, I know Catherine's not feeling well. So let me get a Jay. Can you read this first paragraph for me? Yes. A few years ago, I went camping in Redwood Park with my best friend, Jack. On our first day, we bought some food. We didn't want to stay on the campsite, camp so okay. instead we walked through the forest to find somewhere else to camp. I got it got dark early and we were a bit lost, so we decided to camp in the middle of the forest. That night it was really dark, and I felt a bit scared, but Jack and I made a fire and sang some songs it was it was a quite quiet night and we slept well all right very good jay good pronunciation there now let me see uh kasumi can you read the next paragraph for me okay in the morning we were hungry so we made our breakfast but before we ate it we went to the river we had a wash and got some fresh water then walked back to our tent when we got back to the tent we saw a big brown bear we didn't move or make a noise we watched the bear as it sat in our tent and ate all of our breakfast after that it walked off into the forest with our bugs <laughs> that's not very good for these people then <laughs> All right, so let me let me see if I can get. Uh, oh, Stefania, read this last paragraph for me. Jack and I were very hungry and cold, but we put our tent away and walked away quickly. Then when ran and ran until finally we found the campsite. We were so happy. It was a very lucky escape. <laughs> okay, very good, very good. So this is, here's a little activity where we're going to very quickly put this in order. So you see number one is this picture of, uh, that looks like then buying food. So it says that right here, then buying food is number one. So then it says we walk through the forest to find somewhere to camp. So which, which, which one would be number two here? And any, anybody can say it. Is it a G walking? Yeah, G. Yeah, I, I think so. I think we're we're gonna we're gonna try and figure this out together. But I think so. Yeah. So they, it looks like they're walking through the forest to find the campsite. So that would say that was number two. So it got dark early and we were lost, and so we decided to camp in the middle of the forest. Now I see that picture here too. What letter would that be? A? Yep, A. So you can see them, they're sitting down, they're camping in the middle of the forest. And then it says, Jack and I met a fire and we sang some songs. So that was this one right here. So the next one, in the morning, we were hungry, so we made our breakfast. Before we ate it, we went to the river. So which one of these involves going to the river? A. Yeah, F, I would say. It says we had a wash and we got some fresh water. So you can see them washing right here. All right, and, you know, Kasumi told us they got back to the scent. They saw it back to the tent. They saw a big brown bear. Now, which one is, is that? E. E is that one, yeah. You see the bear right there, okay. Uh, and it walked off with their bags. So we see Jack and I were very hungry and very cold. Which one is this? D. D is right, okay. But we put our tent away, we walked away quickly, we ran away. I think somehow we missed putting up the tent, but <laughs> <laughs> sometimes with these it's kind of difficult. So what was that, Stefania? 
Uh, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I, I got the we got the numbers mixed up, but that's okay. Mm -hmm. um, I encourage you to go back and do this um, when you watch the recording too, and it will really help you kind of put put these sentences together and kind of understand them a lot better. Is it like after G? B will be after G. Uh, no, I think I just forgot B. So here, let's see. Look again. I, I don't mean to confuse everybody. Okay. So we went camping our first day. We bought some food. So that's this one. So instead, we walked through the forest. We said that was this one. And then we said they did that. Well, actually, you know, it might be that. We found the campsite. So that may be the last one. I think that is right, Jay. Okay. Yeah, so that so we did it right. We did it right. I'm sorry. Yes. Sometimes I get mixed up on those too. But let let's continue to look at these um, activities and let's do the next one. So this one says fill in the gaps in this journal using the words below. So let's let's read these sentence by sentence. So um, I see uh, Angel and Debbie are here. Very good. Awesome is here. We got a few more people joining again. So let me get uh, Giovanna. Can you read this this these sentences for me? The first two. Um, whoa! This morning I be at my breakfast. Yeah. So this morning, but we say eight. This morning eight. I was there ate my breakfast. Okay. Ate my breakfast. Mm -hmm. All right, very good, very good. Let me get um, Debbie. Can you read this next sentence for me? Yeah, please, teacher. I can talk now, but in thirty minutes, fifteen minutes, I can join. Okay, that's okay. What about you, Kasumi? Read this next sentence for me. Okay, we we are in Redwood Redwood Park, and last night. We camped in the forest. Okay. We okay. Let's do this. Yeah, go ahead and do this one too, Kasumi, so you can pick uh, okay. the blank. <laughs> we yeah. remember you're gonna pick one of these words down here. Okay. We... Hmm. We felt a fire and it was very quiet. So my friend. Uh, okay. and <laughs> yeah, my friend and I. And I. Mm, slept well. Yeah, so we slept well. So that one was right. Now, if we felt the fire, that would probably be very painful. So I probably, I don't think we would sleep very well. So <laughs> let's not use felt a fire, but this one would be made a fire. Uh, okay. We made a fire and then it was very quiet. So my friend and I slept well. Okay. Yeah, well, that's, it's good, it's good. Okay. Sometimes we don't see these, these verbs very much, so it's good to practice. So the next sentence is gonna start here. Let me get, uh, Lena, can you read this one for me? The next morning, the, the next morning, mm -hmm. we ran. We what we read. <laughs> Yeah, well, you could use, you could use ran or use. I would probably use went here though. We ran to the river to get water. Yeah, that's right. So the next morning we went to the river to get water. So it's very good, Lena. So let me get uh, Stefania. Can you do this one for me? When we go back to the thing, we saw the bear. Yeah, we saw the bear. We saw the bear. Okay. The beer and the bear are very different things. <laughs> we saw the bear. Here, okay. <laughs> okay. So let me get uh, Catherine. This one's small. Can you do this one for me? 
I felt really scared. Yeah, I felt really scared because we saw the bear. And so let's do this last one. Asim, can you hear us? Yeah, yeah. Okay, what, do this last sentence for me. We plunk back to the campsite and we all sick now. <laughs> we ran. Right? Yeah, we ran. That's right. Uh, yeah, that's it. But re read the whole sentence for me. So it would be, we ran back to the campsite and we are safe now. I said that it, we ran. Is it right or correct or not? Yeah, we ran. I just wanted you to read the whole thing for us. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We'll move on then. So let's look at something we call sequence words. So sequence words help show where you are in each story. So that's when you have words like first, then, next, after that, finally. And then the thing about sequence words is they, t it's like I said, they tell you where you are when you're telling somebody something. So here are some examples. Let's read some of these examples. So um, Giovanna, can you read this first example for me? In the morning, we at breakfast watching the sun rising. Okay. You say this word for me again, Giovanna. At. Try, try to say eight, eight. Eight. Kind of like eight. the number eight, yeah. <laughs> Eight. Yeah, eight breakfast. Okay, very good. Eight. Okay, and let me get Kasumi. Can you read this next one for me? Then we bought food from the supermarket. All right, yeah. So then we bought food from the supermarket. And uh, what about Angelica Maria? Can you read this one for me? Finally, we watched a movie in the movie theater. Yeah, yeah, theater. Yeah, they, they, they spelled it like British people do, but normally in English we put ER instead of RE. So you can see, so in the morning, that was the beginning, then we talked about what we did after that, and then finally, that was the end of the story. So let's do some more examples with this. So we're going to, instead of rewriting these sentences, we can just say these sentences. So your example is, I won the game, I got a prize, and we're gonna use the word then. So think about how this sentence would make sense. So you would say, I won the game, then I got a prize. And so this one, this very, this first one should be pretty easy. So let me get, uh, maybe Jay, can you do this one for me? Okay. Uh, first Max did his homework. Yeah, that, and that, that's it. So you just say first, Max did his homework. So very good, Jay. So let, let's look at one of these with two sentences. So let me see. Yeah, Catherine, can you do this one for me? After that, um, after you, I don't know, I'm kind of confused now. <laughs> after you hide on the clothes, after that, hide on the clothes, you can hang them up. Okay. I'm well, not missing okay. a, a word in the between that. Well, so let's look at, look at this first example. You had two sentences. I won the game. I got a prize. And this one, we use then before the second sentence. Mm -hmm. So with this one, we would say iron the clothes. After that, you can hang them up. Because after after you iron the clothes, that's when you hang them up. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. And we can... I will say we can also add a conjunction to make this one sentence, but right now let's just focus on where to put these phrases right here. Mm -hmm. So this one is going to be similar to that. Let me get, uh, I see Hayana is here. Uh, Hayana, do you think you could do number three for us? I hear a little bit. I can hear a little bit. 
Just watching the, the the class today. Just watching today. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. Look, I, think, I think Stefania. Or don't miss. Do it. It's okay. All right, Stefania, try this one. Or try number three for me. Yeah. Uh, she ate a large breakfast. Then she went to the her biology class. Yeah, yeah, her is so biology class. Yeah. Biology. Yeah. So after okay. after she ate the breakfast, then she went to her biology class. Okay. Mm -hmm. And we'll get, let's see if we can get to us. I'm awesome. Can you do the, this last one for me? Of course, yeah. First to clean your room, then go to the playground. Yeah, yeah. So that you got that one. Very good. So we can get a better feel for that. I'll, I'll I'll post some more examples of that in our WhatsApp group too, so we can look at that a little more. So let's continue to talk about these irregular verbs. So when we talk about questions, you see this past simple do and then plus the base verb. So the main verb is in the past simple. They caught a big fish and then we're going to use did is the past simple of do. So did they catch a big fish? Now, remember that main verb is going to be in the base form though. So when you make the statement, they caught a big fish, that's past tense. But when you're asking the question, did they catch a big fish? You're going to use this verb in the base form. But you're also going to, you're going to start it with did. So here are some very good questions here. So I'm going to ask you to not only read the question for me, but then read the answer too. So Lena, can you read number one for me? What did she eat? Okay. And which one of these makes sense there? She ate a burger and fries. Yeah, she ate a burger and fries. Yeah, and so you can see how the verb changed there from eat to ate. Okay, so let me, I know Debbie. All right, Debbie, did you have your hand up? Yes. Okay, two? Yeah, go ahead and do number two. Okay. How much did he spend? Okay. Uh, okay, she spent about $500. Yeah, so he spent about $500, okay? Very good, Debbie. Let me get uh, Stefania. Can you do number three for me? Mm. What time do you leave the bar? Okay. I leave around 11 p.m. Yeah, very good. Very good. Okay. All right, Catherine. What about number four? Did they go by bus? Yes, mm -hmm. because they there were no trains. Yes, because there were no trains. Okay, very good. Let me get uh, Lena. We're about number five. Did I get any more any mail? Okay. Uh, no. Any mail? You got three letters. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, you got three letters, okay? And that's what I want everyone to focus on. See how the verb is changing in these. So we went from get to got on that one. We went, uh, did they go by bus? We changed, um, yes, because there were no trains. So we're talking about how these verbs can change. So let's look at number six. Let me get Jay, do number six for me. Did you, did you win the competition? Mm -hmm. No, we lost. Yeah, we lost the competition, okay? So this is a good example, and you can go back and look at these and see how each one changes there. We see eat to eight. We see uh, how much did he spend, spent, spend, spent with a T, leave, change to uh, left. Uh, did they go by bus? Yes, that actually wasn't a great example. <laughs> the passive go is went. Um, did I get any mail to got? And then did we win, win changes to, uh, did we win the competition? No, we lost. So 
not a great example there either, but when would be one. So let's, so that was kind of a recap of this one. We talked about these irregular verbs, the sequence words, and we talked about the past. Now, I will admit the order of this next lesson kind of goes in a weird order. So let's actually skip this one and go back to it. And let's go here. So we're going to, the next chapter is called Telling a Story. And we're going to use uh, words that help us tell stories. So let's talk about using about to describe media and culture. So about is used to describe subject matter of movies, shows, and stories. And adjectives are used to make these descriptions more specific. So here's an example. It's a show about a tragedy. It's a book about a doctor. The movie is about three families. So the word about here, we can see it just introduces what the subject, um, what the subject matter is. So here are some further examples of this. Let's let's read these out loud. Um, Angelica Maria, can you read this one for me? There are siblings about different cultures around the world. Okay, very good, very good. Giovanna, what about the next one? The books are about post-World War I Germany. Yeah, so yeah, the books are about post-World War One Germany. So this is a Roman numeral here, so we, we would say one. And let me get Lena, can you read this one for me? The movie is a comedy about two Italian families. Yeah. So you can see when we use about, we're just talking about what the subject is. So let's talk about our opinions now. So we're going to use verbs in the past simple to give your opinion. And we add because and an adjectives to state why. So this one's a little more of a complex sentence here. I liked the book because it was hilarious. Or I enjoyed the movie because it was exciting. You could say I loved the play because it was suspenseful. Just remember a positive verb is usually always going to have a positive adjective. Now, of course, we always have negatives, too. So we use these in the same way. So she disliked the book because it was violent. Or maybe we could say Maria didn't enjoy the movie because it was awful. Or we could say Stefania hated the play because it was bland and boring. So negative verbs usually always have negative adjectives. So let's... We have a, um, there's Stefania, go ahead. Sorry, what is bland, bland? Bland, oh, good, good question. So bland means it just, it, it just, just kind of boring, like not a lot, <laughs> not very exciting, boring. We usually use bland when we're talking about something that doesn't taste very good. Like I would mm -hmm. say like stale bread is bland. Like, it's just, it doesn't have any flavor. It's not very exciting. It's just. Mm, okay. <laughs> okay. Boring Thank you. Describe, yeah. Let me actually. Thank you. Put, yeah, I'll <laughs> some things on that too. Let me make some notes on things to post. I don't feel like I described that very well, <laughs> but I'll, 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 I'll do a better explanation in the notes. But let's, let's listen to this audio and then we're going to answer the questions. Um, questions one through six. We'll answer this after we listen to this. So I will start this audio in three, two, and one. So, Chrissy, what did you think of the play? The Midnight Walk, an interesting title. Yes, I enjoyed it. What did you think? Yeah, I really liked it too. I wasn't sure about the title, but the story was good. It was an exciting adventure. Yes, it wasn't boring, and the actors were great. Yes, 
I didn't know any of them, but they were all really good. The villain was the best, I thought. <laughs> I was scared of him. He was a really evil character. I know. The hero had a hard job fighting against him. He was very brave. But the one thing I didn't like was the music. Yeah, it wasn't very good. And I don't think the play needed it. No, I know what you mean. Great night out, though. Thanks for coming along with me. All right, so these are just two friends that went to see a movie. Uh, do we feel like we can answer these questions or want to hear it one more time? One more time, please. One more time, okay. Yeah, so some of these, some of the, these, the, the conversation wasn't super specific, so you really have to listen for this. So let's hear it one more time. So, Chrissy, what did you think of the play? The Midnight Walk, an interesting title. Yes, I enjoyed it. What did you think? Yeah. I really liked it too. I wasn't sure about the title, but the story was good. It was an exciting adventure. Yes, it wasn't boring, and the actors were great. Yes, I didn't know any of them, but they were all really good. The villain was the best, I thought. <laughs> I was scared of him. He was a really evil character. I know. The hero had a hard job fighting against him. He was very brave. But the one thing I didn't like was the music. Yeah, it wasn't very good. And I don't think the play needed it. No, I know what you mean. Great night out, though. Thanks for coming along with me. All right, so let's look at some of these questions. So just keep in mind, question number one, Jack. Now, Jack is the male speaker. So number one, it says, true or false, Jack hated it. So who wants to answer that one for me? Oh, I saw, I saw Catherine's go up first. Go ahead, Catherine. Off. Oh. That's false, yeah. No, yeah, Jack liked it. So then I saw I saw Lena and Debbie. So Lena, you number two. The story was exciting. Two. Yep, so that one's true. Okay. All right, Debbie, number three. The actors were good. True. You said true? Yeah, true. Yeah, yeah. So that one was also true. All right, let's look at number four. Uh, Kasumi it says the villain was scary. Is that true or false? True. That was true. Okay. Number five. Let's see. Hi on is busy. What about Jay? The hero was brave. Uh, true. Yeah, so that was true. And then Stefania, number six. It says the music was great. False. Yes, he said that was false. He said they didn't really like false. the music that much. Okay. Yeah, false. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. Wow. So good there. So this, one said, said that. this one said. Excuse really. me, I have a simple question, actually. Okay, go ahead, Austin. In the last audio, he said that uh, he was a skill from the villain. Pat Jack said. Mm -hmm. Oh, next person who said that the villain was a scary, and maybe I heard that he wasn't scary from that. You know. mean Jack or the next person who talked with Jack? Yeah, well, I thought he said the villain was scary. Yeah, the villain is villain is a is a person or something. Oh, yeah, the villain, good question. Okay, so yeah, the villain is like the bad guy in the movie. Oh, ah, yeah, great. Yeah. So okay, whoever so like, like usually the villain is like a. Like the murderer <laughs> or the uh, the, uh, the bad uh, character in the movie. Yeah. But usually okay, the villain is very scary. Okay. We'll, we'll post a bit more on that. Too. 
But let, yeah, let's go to the next one. So this one says we're going to read the review and then answer these questions. So Millie's Magic, it says Millie's Magic, the latest show in town is a hit. So let, this is kind of hard to read. Can you guys hit, read this? Maybe we can see this. Go ahead, Catherine. Do you have a question? No, I just wanted to read. Okay, here, Catherine. Yeah, so Catherine, you read from here all the way down to voice. Millie's Magical Music is a wonderful new show. The story is about a little girl called Millie. She loves singing. In her bedroom, she listens to songs and learns how to sing them. At school, she has a King English teacher called Miss, Gra Miss Graham and a terrible music teacher called Miss Cafferty. <laughs> yeah, okay. yeah, it's Cafferty or Cafferty. Caffrey, mm -hmm. who is the villain of the story. Both Miss Graham and Miss Cafferty hear Millie's beautiful voice. Okay, very good, very good. I think, Stefania, I saw your hand up too. Will you read this next paragraph for me? Mm, Miss Graham wants every know, everyone to hear Millie, but Miss Cafferty wants to stop her singing. Mm -hmm. It's an enjoyable, enjo I don't know how to say. Yeah, you're class enjoyable enjoyable mm -hmm. story about music friendship and hope okay. many of the actors in this musical are children and they are excellent especially millie the songs in the musical are very good too i really like it the music is a hit that's a hit. Okay. Very good. Very good. So Millie's match. Now, Debbie, I saw your hand was up, so I'll let you do the first question here. What what does Millie enjoy? Okay, she loves singing. Singing. Yeah, yeah. So she loves singing. Right? Yeah. See so if she enjoys it. She loves it. Okay. All right. Uh Lena, where does she learn to sing? It's uh Yes. Yeah, yeah. So she, uh, in her bedroom, she no, listens to songs and learns. Yeah. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt you. I, I thought I heard you say bedroom. That that was right. So she learned to sing them in her bedroom. So let me go to number three here. Let me see. Uh, Kasumi, what is the name of her music teacher? Her music teacher is Miss Graham. Mm -hmm. And what is her other music teacher? And Miss Ka Ka Cafferty. Yeah, so ca we're going to say Cafferty. <laughs> Cafferty. Cafferty. Okay. And then I'm, 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 I was sorry to butt in last time, Lena. Wait, do number four for us. Who is the villain? Me? Yep, you, Lena. Tell us who the villain is. Yeah, so it's Miss Cafferty. Miss Cafferty is the villain of the story. 
Uh, and awesome. I saw your hand was up. Would you do number five for us? It's mainly played by an adult. I guess not. Are many of the actors musical children? Yeah, I'm just, just trying to make sure that it says because many of the actors in this musical are children and they're all excellent, especially Millie. So you're right. Yes, it is played. Uh, Millie is not played by an adult, played by a child. So I assume you are right there. Okay. Yeah, and so this is. So we are a little, little bit over time here, but we talked about about, we talked about opinions, and we described media and culture. There is, you know, the second part of this lesson was about tools, but um, I just, I don't think that really fits with <laughs> what we were talking about with the past. So you can look over this on your own, but these are just some good vocabulary words that talk about tools that you would use. So we got through, we talked about telling stories, we continued to talk about the past tense, and we continued to express things in the past. So I wanted to ask you all, um, does anybody have any questions about what we talked about today? Oh, yes, we don't have any questions. Well, in that case, my friends, uh, if you wouldn't mind um, turning your camera on for just a split second so I can take a picture of everyone that we have in class today. Um, it, was, it was very good to see everybody. I'm always happy to see some smiling faces and not confused faces. But I will give everybody about five more seconds and then I will take a picture. So we have uh, five, four, three, two, and one. If you don't mind just kind of waving at the camera, guys, it was good to see you today. Very good. Very good. So um, I will post some more things in our WhatsApp to help you with things like heroes and villains. Um, Stefania, I'll post a better definition of bland so you know what that means. And then I'll post some other things to help you guys too. So uh, I want to thank you again for coming today, and then I will see you all on Wednesday. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.